Hi, this is Dan from Update My Dynaco, and today I'm going to show you one of the latest kits. We call it the C12 Easy Top, little round PC board that we're going to use to tie together the triple of capacitors that makes up the C12 dynamite capacitor in a Stereo 120. Let's get started. We'll start by removing the four screws that hold the perforated metal cover onto the chassis bottom. Once the four screws are removed, we grab the top and the bottom together, flip it over, lift off the perforated metal chassis. What we will do is we will replace these perfectly good wires that have been holding this particular unit together for quite some time now with that printed circuit board. Why? And the answer is because it looks cool. Will it sound any better? Well, it might, but it's going to look cool. Previously, we would have used some 18 gauge wire to tie all this together on the top. But instead, we're going to use the Easy Topper. And if you look carefully at the Easy Topper, you'll see that there are polarity markings, which we want to make sure that we follow quite carefully because a backwards capacitor is not a happy capacitor. And we see the negative side here and the negative sides are in the center. So what we'll do is load these three capacitors underneath. And there's the second capacitor. And here comes the third capacitor. And that's kind of what it's going to look like when we're done. The only thing we have to do now is we do have to solder those guys. Let's go for it. So we have now Double check the polarity of the capacitors because to paraphrase Norm Abram from this old house, he always says measure twice and cut once. I say check the polarity twice and then solder once. Here we go. And you'll notice we're giving plenty of time to get up to temperature because there's a lot of thermal mass here. And, and we can let that guy set up a bit and we'll go on to the next. We'll start out only doing one of the leads on the capacitor because that gives us the opportunity to move things around a little bit if we don't like the capacitors the way they set up, that they weren't straight. And that second one went a whole lot faster. And let's look at the third one. Third one went pretty well. Okay. Now before we go further, let's take a look and see. What we're looking for is that the capacitors sit dead flush onto the PC board. All right, those three look pretty good, so what we'll do is we'll do the last three. And if you note, not sure the camera picks it up, but all of these joints look quite smooth and shiny. And that's the characteristic of a good solder joint. And let's do the last guy. So if you notice, I'm putting the solder between the terminal and the soldering iron. And that gets us a little pool of liquid solder that kind of starts the party off and transfers a fair amount of heat. 
and we'll let it hang for a minute to make sure we've got lots of good heat. Pull it away. And then if you can do a ridiculous close-up on that, you should see that all of those joints, all six of them, look smooth and shiny and they kind of wick their way up the leads. And now that we're done is a great time to double check. All three minus signs are at the center and we know we've gotten the polarities correct.